Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be an ASOS haul. Yay! I love ASOS. I shop on ASOS way, way, way too much because it's just so easy. The next day delivery is my absolute kryptonite. No. BFF? Definitely not. My weakness. My weakness. Whenever I have any events or any shoots that I need to go to, ASOS is my absolute go-to. So I don't tend to show you everything that I get from there because I feel like I'm constantly picking up like one or two pieces each week. But I did make a reasonably, it's not a hefty haul, there's just about seven, eight things here. And some of them are quite spring-like and I just feel like we need to get into the spring vibes, UK people, don't we? Even though the weather is not helping us out at all here. I'm talking about the weather, it's almost like I'm on a bad first day. Oh, I've had some of those. But yeah, picked up some bits that I love. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, it's at LNextDoor, then you might have seen a few of these pieces already. If not, head over there, say hi, have a chat, say hello. I mean, if you're saying hi, you don't need to say hello. Just come and talk and check out what's going on. I have just got back from New York and I'm heading off to, when you're watching this, I might have already gone, um, Paris and Mauritius. I'm so excited soon. So there'll be lots of travel content over there, lots of gluten-free stuff because I have celiac disease. There's just lots going on over there. So come over and join me. But for now, let's get into the video. Okay, the first bit that I'm gonna show you, um, my mum actually found this and was like, I think you're gonna love this. I think you're gonna need this in your life. And I'm like, how is she just an older version of me and just know me so ridiculously well? Because look at it, look how cute it is. Or maybe she just knows what an absolute massive cliche I am and how much I love anything slogan. But this bomber is actually from Glamorous via ASOS and I, bloody love it i love the color i love this kind of um it's almost like a trainer shoe string shoe string no you guys can see exactly what it is so i'm not even going to try to describe it i love the silkiness and i love the wild heart at the back because i just think it's cute and it's one of those pieces you just throw on with an outfit especially like jeans and a tee um and some trainers and it's just like kind of cool and casual and yeah i really liked that wore that a lot in new york but yeah love this so much i've worn this a lot this t-shirt i know it's super simple this is also from boohoo via asos i know it's simple i know it's plain i know that slogan tees there's a million of them out there and there's probably more jazzy ones with funnier things written on them but I'm all about this obviously I'm going to Paris soon so the cliche life chose me um love this love a plain white tea love a red slogan like red writing loves your door well loves your door yeah I really liked it and it's super blooming and comfortable as well which is always a winner I got this in a small and it still fits like quite nice and oversized so absolutely love that what else have we got where's some of my spring stuff oh I picked up this blouse and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I'm not gonna lie, keeping it is probably a bad decision because the way that it fits kind of gapes and kind of shows off your bra a little bit and I'm like a comfortable, give me the Bridget Jones knickers and Bridget Jones bra, I don't even know if that's a thing but I feel like you'll know where I'm going with this um, kind of girl. So I feel like it's not the best fit for me and it just kind of like drops a little bit low. I'm completely not sending you on this at all, am I? But I just think it is like the most gorgeous blouse ever. Probably not ever, but like I really, really love it. I love this ruffle detail at the front. I love the kind of, it's not really halter neck, but it's sort of bardo with this necky bit here. Necky bit, classic description. And I love the white and black polka dots so much it's one of my favorite blouses i just wish that it didn't kind of like gape so low just above the boob because otherwise it would be the perfect perfect blouse i went for a 10 which is my usual size but maybe size down that might kind of like bring it a bit tighter and bring it up a little bit and if anyone's thinking just go braless because you have absolutely no boobs anyway which you are right it drops low enough that you would definitely have a little bit of a nip slip and i just feel like that's also not the vibe that i'm going for nips next door i have a few dresses which completely my own fault because i took them all out of the packaging and then like scrumpled them all back in scrumpled don't think that's a word but we're going with it um so they're extremely extremely creased but i picked up this one and i'm so excited to wear it extreme excitement for you there um but yeah i am super super excited to wear this it's just a red and white what would you call this almost like a crochet dress but it's the style of this that i love so much um i love that it has the sort of um almost like a brock brock almost like a block rectangular shape here but it has really really pretty arms love this bit as well like it's so cute and so delicate as well um and i love that it also sort of nips you in at the waist 
comes out a little bit but not too much and then flares out a little bit at the bottom as well I just think that these kind of dresses there was one similar from Urban Outfitters that everyone went mad for maybe like a year ago or kind of like nine months ago um, and it was just such a classic dress and the style was beautiful and always looked like very pretty but also a little bit sexy as well and I feel like this is my summer version of this I love it I can't wait to wear it all summer long I can't wait to wear it with a tan which hopefully won't always look like this <laughs> I just love that and then I also picked up this dress which again I haven't worn yet but I am so excited to take this to Mauritius and hopefully just like frolic around the beach I'm actually going on a work trip so the likelihood is that I will have maybe like 10 minutes of the whole trip to actually frolic around the beach um but here's hoping again this is a bardo off the shoulder comes in at the waist and comes out again and then it sort of flares at the bottom so very similar in style but I love the it's not quite navy sort of like a dark blue and white kind of nautical vibes absolutely love this it's also a really soft cotton as well so I feel like this will be super comfortable very excited about that if you couldn't tell by the ridiculous smile on my face <laughs> and I went for a dress which I'm definitely going to start wearing ASAP because I feel like I can wear it with some over the knee boots or, or just more kind of like warmer um, looks and alternatives so that I'm not absolutely freezing to death in my summer dresses all the time this if i can work out how it goes is another wrap dress if you are not new to this channel you will know by now that i love wrap dresses if you follow me on instagram you will know that i love wrap dresses if you're brand new welcome to my channel i love wrap dresses this is probably like my sixth that i have in rotation at the moment but i just love this color so much i feel like with a tan again that isn't patchier than a bloody puzzle puzzle why why puzzle patchy 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 um then this will look really beautiful i also feel like it's quite complimentary on blondes again my blonde isn't going very well for me at the moment i definitely need to get it redone um but yeah i just love this it's just a classic sort of wrap with the ruffle comes out at the bottom i'm not doing a very good job of holding it up so hopefully you can see better when i show you in the cutaway but i just think that that's beautiful and it was from outrageous fortune on ASOS never heard of the brand but love that dress then I got oh okay I got some bikinis which I will show you um this dress I'm super sad is like the most creased thing you'll ever see in your life not that I exaggerate whatsoever and you won't be able to see what it looks like but oh my god I'm so 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 excited to wear this when I go away because I just think that it's absolutely amazing it might be one of those like Instagram dresses that I wear for a photo and then I'm like oh the tit tape isn't actually holding my non-existent boobs in i can't wear this in front of actual human beings um but it looks a bit like this so the top part is very very low cut v at the back it's very very open um which is quite new to me i don't usually go for that kind of style but i loved the dress um it's cotton it's really light or it's more like a linen-y material it comes in here and then it comes all the way down it does have a slit here as well Basically what I'm imagining is being on a beautiful beach somewhere, no patchy tan, just great tan, looking radiant and vibrant and not like I've only had a few hours of sleep and I'm basically relying on 10 million coffees a day and just being like a flowy, floaty goddess. Optimism is one of my favourite character traits about myself. <laughs> I don't feel like that's going to happen but when I saw this dress I'm like that's where I want to be in life, like that is my goal and obviously it's this amazing, amazing red colour, you guys know that I'm obsessed with red. If you couldn't already tell, then you will be able to tell in my next couple of pieces. So yeah, I love this dress. I couldn't recommend it enough. I just can't wait to like actually wear it out. Um, bikinis, which I'm not going to show you on because don't want to put you off of your breakfast, lunch, dinner or generally just life. This one, these look like the most unflattering things in the world to hold up because they're so Bridget Jones. But actually, I feel like the high-waisted one is quite complimentary on my body shape, which is sort of a bit like not the most horrific thing that you've seen but definitely enjoys a lot of pasta but yeah it looks like this has a bit of an american sort of flag theme going on absolutely wasn't intentional until i got it and was like oh i've got an american flag there um and then the top i just think is so beautiful so it goes around like this so here is the kind of boob bits and then 
this kind of doubles up and goes back round so it has like another little bit under the boob. It's all for like style purposes, it absolutely has no function whatsoever but I just think that it is super beautiful and together because this is quite a like minimal um, bikini top, that with that I just, I tried it on and I was like, damn, no I wasn't, I wasn't like that at all. I tried it on and I was like, do you know what, I don't feel like a hideous monster Shrek in that bikini and honestly this is an improvement guys this is an improvement and then I went for this bikini which I feel like in some lights it's definitely meant to be matching I feel like the top is slightly darker I don't even care because I love the style so much I have um, a mustardy colour one from Topshop that I bought about a year ago um, that's really similar in style not one that I really would go for um, that often but I put it on wore it when I was on holiday in Crete oh god a long long time ago maybe like a year ago and I just felt really comfortable in it and I really loved it I loved the style and I love the colour of that and obviously I'm like it's red so I'm gonna love it even more so this top is sort of almost sports bra-esque really um super flattering super comfortable like more than anything it's just so comfortable the bottoms also come high-waisted I think you could get not really a fun option but like a more like low rise option which again I'm not a fan of I'd either go high waisted Bridget Jones or like very thin and very strappy but ones that can like be brought up quite high if that makes any sense probs not but I know where I'm going with it um and together I just think that this is a really really cute look and it sort of covers up enough of you without wearing an all-in-one swimming suit because swimming costumes tend to just make me a constant camel toe and a wedgie combined into one no you're attractive so yeah I love those bikinis so much and I have already seen about five more on ASOS because when I was in New York with my girl Hayley uh we were shopping and she was like that would look good on you that would look good on you so obviously I've bookmarked them and I'm gonna go back and get them because I can't resist um but yeah that's the end of my haul I really really hope you enjoyed it I hope that it's got you in the mood for spring even though in the UK spring is definitely not here it's quite colorful so I hope it put a smile on your face but yeah if you did enjoy it please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new I've been on YouTube for a couple of years now and apparently I still can't say that sentence without doing the really geeky thumbs up sue me if you do subscribe and if you are already subscribed then I'll see you in my next video again thank you so much for watching guys bye